So I'm in traffic. Well, not really traffic, but doing the driving thing on my way to uh, to a meeting. And I was kind of zoned out. And I realized that I got in the lane with the long line at the stoplight. Now, normally, especially when getting on the freeway, I choose the shorter lane, always use my blinker, make my move and then get through. And then I got in the long lane. I didn't realize it. And then I was sitting there and it scared the crap out of me. Why? Because, <laughs> because I normally always go for it. I figure I'm in a car, so why not? Kind of like parking. I always go for the best parking. I don't mind walking. I actually like walking, but I always go for the best parking because I'm in a car. So if there's no great parking, I just park where there's an open spot. But my point is I don't settle. And so what scared me about getting in that long traffic lane was there was a little bit of settling in there. So I was just sitting there behind this big truck zoned out. I'm like, what am I doing? What am I doing? So that's number one. Number two, truth, right? So traffic, truth. I want to get to the truth. A lot of times I come up here, Facebook, and you see me with a lot of energy and a lot of positivity, and that is true. But that is not to say that there are times that I don't struggle or times that I just am like, oh, this is rough. This is hard. And, uh, and I want you all to know that, that I do ask myself the same questions that I would ask of you or any of my clients or any of the people that I go out and speak to. Um, cause I find myself in those situations where, you know, I may feel the pressure. And so, which leads me to number three, big boy pants. So asking those questions of myself those hard life questions. What am I doing? Why am I doing it? Possibly even why I'm here. That's about me putting on my big boy pants and accepting the truth that there may be some traffic on my way to doing what I want to do, living the life I want to live. And it's in the acceptance of that truth that I have a choice, right? So I have gifts, I have talents, um, and I have capabilities, right? So I don't know everything. I can't do everything, but I'm capable. Meaning I don't have to do what I'm doing. I don't have to do what I'm doing. You don't have to do what you're doing. You have choices. Therefore, if it's my choice to do what I want to do, and I'm experiencing trouble doing it, the question then remains, what am I going to do about that trouble that may lie ahead? That's the question when we're feeling low. What am I going to do about it? I will never ask you or anybody that I'm speaking to not to be human, but I will ask you, what are we doing about it? And I want you to know from the bottom of my heart that I do ask those questions of myself many, many days because it's not always positivity, but I'm positive that I have the ability to get through it. Get it? Things may not be good. I can be, right? It may not be all good. You are all good. All right, that's it. That's my message for the day. As you know, I love you guys. Uh, please, let's have a conversation. Bring me in to speak, drjasonrichardson.com or at Real Dr. J. Rich on Instagram and Twitter. And then, of course, if you see me in person, say hi. I love having a conversation. Peace.